In this class, we are going to learn how to create a RTF template using the BI Publisher add-in for Microsoft Excel. In our earlier classes, we had seen how to download and install Oracle BI Publisher add-in for Microsoft Office. So when we download and install the BI Publisher add-in for MS Office, so this tab, if you see, BI Publisher add-in will be automatically be showing on the MS Word as well as on the MS Excel. We don't have to do anything explicitly if you want to develop RTF template or if you want to bring this add-in over here. Once we install, it will reflect this tab in all the MS Office products, Excel or Word. We have learned in detail how to create RTF templates using MS Word. In this class, we will have a brief introduction about how we can create RTF template using the BI Publisher adding for MS Excel. So before we proceed, like we had seen in the case of MS Word, we should have one data model. Let me show you my data model over here. This is a simple data model. In your case, you might have a complex data model wherein you will be retrieving some data from the fusion based on your business requirement. Go over to the data. Let me just view the data over here. In our case, the repeating tag is G1 and we are getting so and so data. Let me click on the save as sample data using which we will be creating a report later. When we had created RTF template using MS Word VIP add-in, we had exported the data. Similar like that, we have to export this VIP or the data model sample data as a XML file in order to work using the add-in for MS Excel. So there is a button over here which says export, click on this. So what it will do is it will create a .xml file or it will download the .xml file into your computer which will have data of all the rows what you see over here when we click down view it had written 100 records we had set 100 so that's more than enough in order to visualize the things using the VIP add-in for MS Excel when we are creating the RDF template first thing is you have to create a data model then you have to view the data and confirm that it is working properly or returning the data as per your project requirement then save it as a sample data and also you have to export it as a .xml file. So this is a prerequisite before we go ahead and build a RTF template using Excel. Next step is we have to come to Excel and make sure BI Publisher tab is reflecting over here. So it will reflect as soon as you install the BI Publisher add-in on your computer. Next is if you see over here the sample XML, usually when we open the Excel it will be under the Home tab. Just switch to the BI Publisher and click on Sample XML. Now we have to search for the .xml file which we had downloaded from the Fusion. That is when we clicked on export, it had downloaded this .xml file that we have to click on open. Once you have done, you will get an option like as field and the repeating groups. So we will come to those things shortly. Next, I will create one table over here. I will show the sample data like the code combination ID and charts of accounts and detail posting allowed three columns I will create. Let me just create over here the column headers table header sorry i will name this as code combination id next i will show the chart of accounts let me remove the underscores over here and replace it with the space two fields done i will add one more field that is to show the detail posting allowed flag so these are just for demonstration purpose in actual project requirement you will be adding the columns as per the customer's need. Done. Then we can style this. Let me just make this as all borders where it is it's over here. And let me increase the font of this. Yeah, this would be sufficient. Let me just style it. And also we'll name this as, let me merge and make it center. We have learning, RTF, template, development then we can style this as per the use case next we have created a table over here with the column header but we have not adding the fields over here we will see how to add the field and we can represent the data what we see over here similar like that now in order to add the data we have to go to vi publisher click on the fields over here it will tell metadata sheet will be created it will be creating a metadata sheet so you have to click on OK. 
So as soon as we click on OK, it will launch this fields pop up. So we have to select what field we have to add in the code combination ID. Just select this and we have to click code combination ID. So we have to make sure we have to select this field or the cell. Then we have to click on this fields option. Then only it will open this wizard. So when we click on insert, it will insert over here the value. Next is the chart of account ID. So over here, just select this and click on insert. And next, it will be the detail posting allowed flag. It is over here. Select this field and click on insert. So once done, click on close. We had only three columns. We have added the fields accordingly. So if you select this and just see over here, it has added the required metadata in order to show the field. That is xdo underscore question mark and then xdo field one. So field one, I think is the reference to this in the .xml file. Suppose if you want to see how the data will look like we can just right click over here and open with the notepad so here we will see all the details like what is referring to what in the xml file so if we click on this it will tell it is the field 2 and coming to the detail posting flag it will tell it is referring to the field 3 so when we clicked on field we got a pop-up saying metadata sheet will be created and you might ask i am not seeing that metadata sheet just right click over here and we have to click on unhide so we will get an option. There is a hidden XDO metadata sheet. Click on OK. So what Oracle will do is it will create a metadata sheet wherein it will create few attributes. And here there is a mapping. Suppose here you will see that code combination ID it is referring to XDO field one. But you might tell that I am not seeing field one over here in the XML file from where it is getting populated. So that mapping is over here. So field 1 is referring to code combination ID in our XML file over here. Field 2 is referring to chart of accounts and field 3 is referring to the details posting flag tag in the XML file. So this is how the mapping is created by Oracle. And template type Oracle is saying type Excel template. So this is with the latest release. In earlier releases, it was the responsibility of the customer to create this sheet. Now Oracle has automated that when we click on field, it will automatically create this metadata sheet. We don't have to worry about creating a metadata. Our worry should be only on creating the RTF template and we have to worry only about bringing the data. Rest all the headache of creating metadata is over to the Oracle with the latest releases. So once done, what we have to do is we have to click on this save. Click on browse. Let me save this as .xls because it is the preferred extension which is accepted by BIP in the fusion that is for the RTF template. I will tell RTF Excel template. Click on save. We have just mapped that is field 1, field 2, field 3 that is to the three columns but we want this to be repeating. Suppose here if you see we are getting not only one row, we are getting n number of rows in the response. Now you might ask, like we have just mentioned the fields, but we have not told that it should repeat for all the records. So if you see multiple records in the response, the answer is we have to select all these three. We have to click on the repeating group. And from here, we have to select G1. So in our case, only one tag is available. That is the G1. If you see over here in the tree view, only G1 is there. Suppose if you are having the multiple response query or the master detail response you are getting, then you will see n number of tags over here over which you can have a for each loop. In our case, it is G1. We are selecting it and clicking on OK. Suppose if you are selecting all, you will see it is grouped based on this XDO underscore group and it is looping over XDO G1. So this is the logic. And in the metadata, it will add the logic accordingly using the XSLT syntax that is for each over G1. So we don't have to worry about that. Once done, what we have to do is we have to click on save. Suppose if you want to see how the response will look like, just click on this preview and the Excel. So here it will show the response. So this is the number. It is showing the exponential value so that we can ignore as of now. So this is how the output will look like when we actually build a BIP report based on this template. So once you are happy with this response or the PV, just close this. And we have to save this RTF template with .xls extension. Once done, we have to go back to our data model, click on this create report. I will select use report editor and click on finish. 
when he's asking me to save the template, I will save this as Excel underscore template report and click on OK. As we have created this RTF template and we have saved it as .xls file, what we have to do is we have to select this option that is upload RTF template file. From here we have to select the file. We have to locate this .xls file. Just make sure it should be .xls not the .xlsx. I will name this as Excel template. From the type I will tell this is Excel template. From locale I will tell this is English United States. Click on upload. Done. We can click on this view as a preview. So default format is Excel as itself. So we can straight away click on this view report. So what it will do is it will make use of our RTF template which we have created using our BIP add in for MS Excel and it will run the data model, get the query and it will automatically download the .xls file when we run this I'll quote. Let me just open this. So here is the file data which will be getting at runtime from the fusion when we run the BI publisher report. So like this following those steps we can build the RTF template using BI publisher adding for MS Excel and get the BIP report using the Excel format. Thank you.